So, uh, instead of, uh, talking about recent events and, uh, important stuff like, uh, what happened to Lebanon, or, uh, talking about, uh, rioters slash protesters bringing their children and, uh, using them as little meat shields, or hell, even talking about what the fuck happened to this guy, uh, we gotta talk about ass. More specifically, uh, Pokemans. So, the too long didn't read is uh, Pokemon's con is very easy it's copy and paste it's pretty lazy but the character and personality are what make different from others even though there's not much difference at all which is fine because you don't have to be original to be good uh, I, I uh... yeah <laughs> so as y'all know I waited to like almost the things dead news kinda because that's just my thing I want to get all uh, all sides of the story, I guess, uh, all opinions from people I care about, or whatever, to talk. Then I finally talk about a topic, a bad topic. And if you don't know, which, uh, you've been living under a rock, or you're watching fucking cooking tutorials on YouTube. But the infamous commentary channel, Leafy is here, came back from the dead for like, from like, like two or three years. I don't know exactly, but he dropped a uh, video content nuke, a similar title to uh, H3A3's uh, H3H3's uh, video content nuke on Keemstar, but he made one on Pokemon, and it made a lot of Sims mad. <laughs> and so, uh, my opinion on it. Um, it's fine. It's not that bad, really. Like, it's just a normal commentary video to me. Like, I think the only reason it got so big and so much hate is because the person who made it. Leafy, which is pretty much a big cause. This man has vanished for years doing whatever. And people assume it's because of the bullying harassment he got from around the time, but I don't think so. I think it's just bad timing. Like, I'm not a profession, a leafy professional. I don't know every damn thing about him. So my thoughts on his disappearance are invalid. But, as this video, that, that exact video, exactly everything that Leafy just said, that will not get so much attention and hate if a slightly smaller YouTuber made that. Even if it was a content cop from iDubbbz, I still... Even if from iDubs himself, I still think it wouldn't be as big and hateful as Leafy. I think it'd be a little bit more, but yeah, you know. But my thoughts on Pokey's content. Now, even uh, even before the uh, little uh, content nuke, I still didn't uh, wasn't the biggest fan of Pokey's content. That's just my taste in content. All right, I'm not saying it's bad. Okay, shit, <laughs> but. But some of uh, Pokey's content is some of the easiest content to do. If it wasn't, then there wouldn't be as so there wouldn't be as many Twitch streamers as there are now. Like Carson, Critical, Tyler One, Two Man, and even Shroud would be gone. But what makes them different from Pokemon and each other? They have personality and character that audiences can drastically separate each other from the other. But when you compare Pokey. From other uwu cute persona girls, is that the only difference is Pokey doesn't show ass, but the reactions or gameplay are all lazy and mediocre. But what separates XQC, another person that does these kind of videos, what separates him from Pokey is that he actually can play a, ga a game good and make it enjoyable to watch because he's a former goddamn pro player. And that's not to say you have to be good at a game to keep interest and be different from others. Like, look at King George, he's a pro and so sucks. But Pokey, there's not much difference from other female streamers. And if that's the case, then why should I watch and defend her when she's just like everybody else? Well, people reacting, uh, people reaction to this content nuke uh, have uh, gotten a lot of uh, hate, especially people that have content very similar to Pokey. Uh, the two people I'm going to point out is Destiny. And uh, Hanasabi, I think that's his name. I don't care. Ha Hanasabi, the fuck, I don't like him. But Destiny, his words, I'm not using any footage. I'm not using pictures. Because someone's going to be mad or some shit. I don't know. And probably content fucking Shrek or whatever. I don't know. I'm not that big, so I don't have to worry about it. 
But Destiny's own words, the world-renowned cuck. <laughs> All right, Destiny, I don't have a problem, but you are a cuck. Okay. He always comes to save the ladies and throws his hat into the ring by calling out the boldness in Leafy's uh, calling out to the simps. He's basically just defending simps. Uh, basically, uh, he's talking about Leafy's uh, claim to tell people, everyone to come at him, you know, throw hate at him. Which, Destiny says Leafy has a bunch of people on his side, so it won't matter. Well, yeah, no shit, it won't matter, because it don't, he doesn't really care. Now, I'm not going to act like I know Leafy, because I don't. But if you just skim through his content and see how he acts or how he portrays himself, like, he literally makes videos picking on retards. He's not going to fucking care. At all. Now, another streamer, Hasanabi, whatever, gives his take and quite possibly the worst take on Leafy's video. And he starts by targeting his looks. Even though Leafy was just agreeing what Keemstar said about Pokey's looks, but Hassan starts dumping on Leafy about how he never shows his face and he should go look for his chin, which is the lowest and easiest thing a person can make fun of of a person is just their looks. Second is a person's race, like, which, come on, Hassan, you can't even look at your girl under those fucking rags. Aren't you the person that said America deserved 9-11? So, like, clean your own room, too, and I'll, I'll, I'll clean my room after you do, too, okay? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. But then, also, Hassan says being a YouTuber is so much easier, because all they do is upload two to three videos a week and just cash out with easy money while streamers <clears throat> work every day for hours and get less. But if you're so pissed off at that, then do it yourself if it's so easy. To be a YouTuber, you literally just walk through the process and benefits of being a YouTuber, then just do it. It will be easier for you because you already have a big following. Wow, if I switch to Twitch, I, I, I'll i just fucking sit on my ass, watch YouTube videos all day, not edit them at all. That all my 60 people, my 60 subscribers, give me money like hell yeah. I'm not going to miss putting the right hashtags to make the video stand out in the search bar for people to watch it. Uh, I'm not going to miss editing long, boring video clips every time I'm bored, even though I stopped a while ago. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm uh, I'm leaving YouTube for uh, more of a graded challenge uh, of Twitch streaming. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no, not really, no. But, uh, yeah, I seem, uh, seemed a little bit harsh in this... Uh, I guess I made last night, but uh, I'm not honestly, I really don't hate anybody. I uh, this whole fucking pokey shit is really fucking dumb. There's a lot more <laughs> important things to uh, have our eyes on, but uh, it seems like uh, we can't, we can't get our eyes off ass, which I can't blame them, you know, it's it's ass, but uh, the biggest uh. Nuke that's been dropped from Leafy is that Pokemon has a boyfriend. And that is not a surprise <laughs> at all. Uh, I, me being a uh, no, ha, <laughs> low confidence and uh, low self confidence having ass, uh, automatically assumes any woman on the internet has a uh, mate or, or they're just gay. But, uh, <laughs> So I, I wouldn't be. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of but that has become the main uh, interest, I guess, from a lot of videos. Like, oh my fucking god, uh, Leafy just re uh, revealed that Pokey had a boyfriend the whole time. Oh my god, it's insane. Come on, <laughs> uh, some somebody's gonna jump it. Okay, somebody's gonna t t take a bite out of that. Okay. And uh, it's not going to be you. And that's for damn sure. <laughs> Even if they break up, it's not going to be you. At all. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to say that. But it's true. And all these like fucking simps or whatever defending her. Trying to like, dox people, I think. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised with the way uh, the day is. Uh, the way uh, the days are. Where everyone's doxing each other left and right. Like everyone's a fucking professional hacker or some shit. 
Uh, I don't even know how to find an IP address. I don't even know what an IP address is. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's, uh, that's about it, really. Uh, Pokemon stuff's fine. Uh, her content's fine. It, it just proves, like I said, you don't have to be original to be good. You also don't have to be good to get a massive following. Just look at fucking Fortnite. Okay? Well, whatever. If you like the video, uh, comment, uh, subscribe or something. Uh, I'll probably get a fuck you or something. Uh, like a dislike too, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. No one's gonna watch it, because, like I said, I got 60 followers. and We got, uh, we got fucking Mr. I got thousands of followers, a, uh, on Twitch saying it's easy. I've been on here for two years. Or three. So, uh, yeah. Good luck on that.